Previously on Nick Moses 05 Gaming Podcast. I'm here and don't stick up for the man. But to me, I, I, I'm here for the bullshit. Okay? My job today is to get you back to where you were without dealing with any of this shit. That's my job today. I, I just have hard time trusting a random guy with a three hundred and fifty dollar piece of technology. You know, you got to be careful. It's not it's not the installer's fault. It's the manufacturer. He asked me, what is it that I wanted to do with the chip? The one that he bought for me, that's all jacked up. And I'm like, I don't got no need for no broke ass chip, like triple flashing purple screen, then red. The bullying is getting a lot worse. I mean, an apology can go a long way. You got to admit what you did was either wrong or it wasn't up to par. Some of his work looks great. So clean. I heard the gentleman broke five of his own. So if I give him my switch the first time I met him, because I met him in December, that means that my switch would have been the first one broken. I mean, everybody is a second chance. But you got to prove yourself. All right, listen, if he is better than me, He's better than me at breaking switches. How you gonna tell customers to send you a fucking switch right away and, and, and be aggressive? Right now, send it to me right now, right now. And then you tell your fucking customer, oh, wait, I gotta order the chip. Uh, in a nutshell, fuck JJ. He's upcharging on the chips that he, I'll tell you right now, does not cost $170. So if you, you're gonna go out here and you're gonna tell a customer, yeah, this chip was 170 when in reality AliExpress has them for 120 You're already dicking a customer. First thing is going to be that apology. You know, say, hey, you know, I'm not there. I apologize. I do need to work on it. And, you know, fess up. I don't, like, I don't care if it's six months, a year down the line. If it was something I previously touched, I will look at it. If you can't fix your mistake, you shouldn't be working on the device. I just did a light today that was actually returned from him that had flux all over the inside of it and it smelling like burning metal. Everybody like ate my ass on it basically. Oh, hit up JJ, he's the man, he's the man, yeah. It's like, for one, I couldn't fix your switch if you just blocked me and don't even allow me to try to fix it. And then I seen some memes, the best of the best. Well, he's the best of the best of breaking switches. The thing that's got me bugging right now is the messages I wrote, where, wrote read where he said, fuck me and fuck the whole community. Hey, Jake, right, no me? one sends me these screenshots. Like, yeah, I fuck up this whole damn goddamn scene. Yeah, I have nothing nice to say about this fucking shit anymore. Nothing. Yeah. I don't give a fuck anymore. Then why the fuck you calling in? Fuck you, Eric. If you don't care, shut the fuck up and get off of here. I got the last consoles that I fucking gonna mod, and I ain't touching any of them anymore. I don't care if you give me $500. And then the memes, 